Slicing the golf ball with this bad boy has got to be one of the most frustrating things in golf, especially if it's on the first tee and there's out of bounds all down the right. In this video, I'm going to give you four steps you need to follow in order to completely get rid of that slice once and for all. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future content. Leave this video a little like if it's helped you out and feel free to leave a comment and let me know what sort of stuff you want to see coming up and let's get into it. Generally what we see with slices is that as the club face approaches the ball, it'll be left wide open like this. Now what they'll do to counteract this is they will swing left and have the ball start left of the intended target line and curve to the right. The first thing you need to do is adopt a grip that is going to help you eradicate the open club face. Generally with slicers we'll see a grip position like this, considered a quite a weak position where the logo on your glove points down towards the target and the left thumb will be straight down. What we want to see instead is that we can rotate our hand more on top and we can have our glove logo facing more up towards our face and you'll see that this V shape is pointing to the right. As you'll see with this grip position this is immediately going to help you because it's very hard for me to rotate my wrist to the right which is going to open the face so what's, what I'm more likely to do through impact is actually get that face closed so I have a lot of wiggle room to help me keep that face closed through impact. Now when it comes to putting the right hand on if you're a real big slicer you're not going to want to have your grip position weak like this you're going to want to have it more here where your V shape this time on the right hand is pointing more up towards your face and not over towards your left shoulder. The second thing we need to do is fix our setup. Now most of the time with slicers what we'll see is that they'll aim left with the feet, the hips and the shoulders. This is an attempt to sort of get the club swinging more to the left to counteract that open club face. So we now need to get rid of that because once you've changed your grip, what you're going to see is the ball going left with that setup. To fix this, I want you to get two clubs placed, one by the ball, which is pointing to your target line, and then a second one for your feet line, but have it parallel to that one there. So what I want you to do is start off with your feet together like this, take a small step with the left foot and a big step with the right foot. Now you'll see that my club to target line and my feet line are parallel. This has also helped my hips and shoulders be more parallel to my ball to target line as well. All right, so that's us set up really well to the ball now with the driver, so our grip's better and our setup's better. Now we need to think about the third thing, which is the backswing. Now a lot of the time with the slicers, I'll see the club being dragged back inside like this, and what they'll do is they'll get stuck back here, and now there's no room to shallow that club or to get it underneath. So what happens is, is they'll swing over like this, and that will have come from as well the setup position, up aiming left. So what's gonna happen is they're gonna swing over like this, come across it, leave the face open and get that slice. So with the backswing, we wanna make sure that we're almost taking that club straight back away from the ball, just like this into your takeaway position. Then once we set the club, we need to make sure that we're starting to rotate our hip and our shoulders in order to get this club up. And now we've got a lot of room to be able to get this club underneath and attack it from the inside. Here's a great drill to help you get that takeaway correct. So what I want you to do is hold the driver down here and have it placed on your left hip. Now, as we take this club back, we want to make sure that we keep the club on the hip until our hand just gets past our right leg. You'll see from this angle that if I let that club come off, you see I'm going to swing inside, and that's where we're going to have our problems again. So it's straight back until it reaches the hip, and then start to turn. Okay, so we've got the setup, we've got the backswing, and now it's time to think about what we need to do in the downswing. Now, if I take it up to the top with slicers, a lot of the time we're going to see the club going this way, and this is caused because the start of the downswing is initiated by the upper body rotating and the hips will either follow or they'll just be with it. What we want to do instead is make sure that once we're from the top we want to start the downswing by rotating our hips which is going to help us shallow that club and get it more on the inside like this. You'll see that I'm almost trying to leave my upper body behind like I'm keeping my chest pointing towards you as I start to transition the hips. I'm trying to keep my chest towards you as long as I can and then once I get to about here that's when I'm going to unleash everything and let everything unwind. All right we're doing really well so far. Now with all these steps so far you're going to see a big improvement already in your ball striking and that slice is going to be definitely a lot less. We just need one final thought through impact just to get us to help keep that club face from opening up. What we want to feel now is as we've separated the hips and now we've got our upper body into this position we now need to start to unwind. So when everything unwinds it's really important that we make sure that we release that club. Now you'll see I'm not flicking the wrists. What I'm doing is that I'm allowing my right forearm to start to release through and sort of overtake the left one. That's going to help me get that club face closed and really not hit any slices at all. If you're getting this wrong, what you'll see is as you come into impact, we'll not release that club correctly. Our elbows will start to separate and we'll start to get that chicken wing that you see into the finish position with a lot of slicers. All right, so let's recap and give it a go. So starting off, we got the grip position that we talked about. Okay, we're going to start with the feet together. Small step, take a big step. Then from here, we're going to work the takeaway straight back. Turn up into our backswing, start down with the lower body first, 
and then release cr the club correctly. Absolutely bullet straight, maybe a touch of draw. And that's what you're gonna wanna be seeing when you get this correct. So there we go, that should be the slice eradicated for good. First thing we gotta do is make sure that the grip and the setup are correct. So we've got that stronger grip and we're not even way off to the left with our feet and shoulders. The second thing is making sure that we take the club back correctly in that takeaway and then we rotate up to the top so we've got a bit of room to be able to drop the club on the inside. The third thing is to make sure that we transition correctly so we're starting down with the lower body and then we're going to let everything else unwind after. And then the final thing is to make sure that we release that club correctly. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to subscribe. It's completely free and there'll be lots of content coming up to help you guys with your golf. Leave this video a like if it's helped you out and feel free to leave a comment as well. Let me know what sort of stuff you want to see coming up in the future.